Hey, sis. How are you? It's your sister. Long time no talk. It's been five years. What? Kim? What do you want? Why are you so cold? Well, actually, I'm getting married soon. Oh, really? Congrats to you. Bye. Hey, you are too cold. Your cute little sister is getting married. You should sound more happy. No, I don't have a cute little sister. I mean, I cut you off five years ago, right? I don't give a shit about a stranger's wedding. What? Oh my gosh! I know that you are jealous of your beautiful sister because you are ugly. What? You should have been running away from reality. What do you mean by beautiful? I'm talking about your personality. What? I feel like you just said something that doesn't make any sense. You have an ugly face and personality. Are you ashamed of saying that? I'll just let it pass because you're just an ugly backstabbing bitch and I feel sorry for you. I can't even have a normal conversation with you. So, you still have something to say? Yes, I do. Here's the main topic. Who do you think I'm going to marry? I'm not interested. Hey, I'm not looking for an answer like that. Because I'm not interested. Can we end this now? No, no, no. You will regret it if you don't guess. It's definitely a big deal to you. <laughs> big deal? When I was at my parents' house, every day was a disaster because of my parents who only care about you. But since I got rid of you guys, every day has been great. Now, it's a bigger deal that you're contacting me and messing with me. It's causing me a lot of stress. Can I go now? I told you, you have to listen to me. Jesus, why can't you just listen to me? I'm just messing with you the way you are doing it to me. I really don't like that about you. Well, I'll just say it. I'm marrying your fiancé. What? My fiancé? What are you talking about? <laughs> you're surprised, aren't you? Too bad I can see your despairing ugly face in person. So, your fiancé would choose to marry a beautiful sister than an ugly woman like you. Isn't that frustrating? You are the biggest loser now. <laughs> you have an ugly face and personality that can be helped. And on the top of that, she's a loser. Aw, I feel so sorry for you. My fiancé? Who? Who? I don't have a fiancé. You must have misunderstood something. Huh? That's the word that came out of your frustration? Wow, so pathetic. I don't care if it's pathetic or not. I'm only telling you the truth. You work hard in your own ugly way. And you finally managed to get a good-looking, high-standard fiancé. And then, I, a beautiful woman, took him away from you. And you must be really frustrated. Aww, you're so miserable. I can't even look at you. If you can't stand to watch, then I guess this conversation is over. Hey! Bye. Hey, sis! Why did you reply to my wedding invitation with a no show? I didn't know your current address, so I went to the trouble of sending you an email. I went to the trouble of inviting you. I can't believe you're wasting my goodwill. I'm not going to the wedding of a sister I've cut off. I don't even want to meet my parents. Even without that, when I look at the day, I could make it. So I'm going to miss it anyway. What? Do you mean you have other plans? That's what I mean. What's that? You must have a boring plan. You should prioritize my wedding. I mean, there's nothing more important than my wedding. Yes, there is. For me, everything is more important than your wedding. Oh, 
Okay. You got scared when you saw the groom's name on the invitation email, didn't you? Oh, you mean Kurt? Well, it was a name I knew. Right? You're still in shock, aren't you? No, there's no reason for me to be shocked. Kim, I think you're probably mistaken. Okay, okay. You're trying to console yourself by pretending I'm mistaken, aren't you? You're so good at escaping reality. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Based on what you said the other day, you think that Kurt used to be my fiancé, right? That's right. I told you, I stole him away. What? What do you mean by stealing him? Well, if Kurt was just a good-looking guy with a low salary, I had no intention of marrying him even if I took him away from you. But he's a very successful investor and makes a lot of money. I guess this is what you call don't judge the book by its cover. I can't believe that such a good-looking and rich man really exists. He is too good for you, isn't he? What? Kurt? Wait, you didn't know that? Yeah, I've never heard anything about that. I see, I see. I guess he didn't trust you enough to tell you because you are too ugly and clingy. I've never heard that people base their trust on appearance. And ugly people are clingy? That's what my mom said. That's why you are clingy. I mean, it's not just for your face, but your personality too. You and Kurt live in a different world, you know? What kind of magic did you use to get him? I told you, he was in my fiancé before. Huh? What are you talking about now? Sis, stop lying already. Every time you tell one more lie, you only make yourself more miserable. You're already ugly and miserable looking. And now, you're making yourself even more miserable by lying. I'm ashamed to be your sister, so stop it. <laughs> I will say it again. I'm only telling the truth. If you don't believe me, that's your choice. Anyway, I'm not going to the wedding. Oh no, I wanted to see my sister's ugly face when she cries and regrets. I'm sure our parents would have loved to see miserable older sister who lost her fiancé to her younger sister. It's really a good thing I cut everyone off. I wouldn't have any reason to cry or feel sorry for myself if I had gone. Anyway, it's a big day for me too. I will put myself first. Sis! I know you're frustrated because you lost your fiancé. That's why you don't want to come to my wedding. Aw, you poor thing. Go ahead and say whatever you want. It doesn't matter what you think of me. It doesn't hurt me. It just makes me uncomfortable. So, don't contact me anymore. What? For real? You are so boring. Sis, today's my wedding. How does it feel to be the ugly sister who was used as a stepping stone by her beautiful sister? I told you not to contact me. Well, I didn't think you'd listen to me. You've been saying whatever you wanted to say at the beginning. No one's stepping on me, okay? What? Are you still talking like that? I'm busy getting ready too. I will listen to you bragging about your wedding later. So, can you give me a break now? No way. I'm going to broadcast it live so you have to enjoy it. I'm going to show my miserable sister how happy I am at my wedding and make her regret it. I can't even check your messages from time to time. I don't even regret anything about it. I think it will be a more meaningful time for you to concentrate on the wedding and soak in your own happiness. Of course, I'm going to enjoy the wedding and be happy. After all, the guy I'm marrying is a crazy Ernie Kurt. Just thinking about the luxury life I'm going to have from now on makes me so happy. The hidden taste of such happiness is my sister's miserable future. 
I really can't have a decent conversation with you. My boyfriend calling me. I'm going now. What? Boyfriend? What are you talking about? Oh, I made a mistake. I know you can't have a boyfriend. Can you? <laughs> you're too miserable to create a fantasy boyfriend because you're too miserable. We already registered, so he's not my boyfriend. He's my husband. I'm leaving the hotel now and heading to the wedding venue. What? Wedding venue? I'm getting married in Paris today. I'm busy, so I don't have time to talk to you about your wedding. What? What? Paris? Well, goodbye. Wait a minute. What the hell? What's going on? Give me back my Kurt! Huh? What are you talking about? Kurt said he couldn't marry me and left the ceremony. He wanted to be with you, didn't he? It's strange that this happened right before the ceremony. You set this up, didn't you? It's terrible that you tricked me. Are you saying that Kurt is coming to Paris with me? Isn't that right? You said earlier that you are also getting married. If that's the case, it means that Kurt is the groom. No, calm down and think about it. Kurt was at the wedding just now, in front of you, right? Do you know how far is Paris? And there's no way he can come so soon. Then that means he is on the way to Paris now. You tricked me into getting married to Kurt. I won't forgive you. Give me back Kurt. You know what? I'm getting married to a guy named Elliot. What? Elliot? He's a French guy I met on my overseas assignment and he's never been to the USA. So I'm pretty sure you never met him. French? Overseas assignment? I work for a foreign company and I've been on an overseas assignment for a year and a half. Elliot is someone I started dating about two months after I went there. Oh, so Kurt is? That guy is my ex-boyfriend I broke up with two years ago. Huh? Ex-boyfriend? But we broke up after two weeks. Two weeks? Why so short? He was your fiancé. Right? As soon as he found out I was making a reasonable money, he quit his job and moved into my apartment. I didn't want to be his sugar mommy, so I quickly moved out and broke out with him. I'm really wondering why you assumed that someone like that was my fiancé. Why? Well, because... Kurt mentioned your name and asked if you were my sister. And... We exchanged contacts. He was good looking, so I tried to steal him away from you. And I heard that he was a successful investor and had a lot of money. I lied about being pregnant, and he proposed to me. But today, one of the guests told him that I lied about my pregnancy. So he said he couldn't get married. And he left the wedding venue. Yes. My mom and dad scolded me a lot for lying. Oh, even our parents, who loves you so much, got angry at you for this? If they scolded you a little earlier, you would have grown out to be such a spoiled brat. Sis, don't you feel sorry for me? Huh? They told me to take care of everything by myself and that they'll never help me. Poor me, being abandoned by mom and dad all of a sudden, right? That's what you deserve, isn't it? But then again, maybe it's a good thing you've never got married. Huh? He probably doesn't have any money. What? I just told you that. 
He's the kind of guy who took advantage of me when we started dating and tried to turn me into a sugar mommy. It's hard to believe that that lazy, self-indulgent guy is going to be able to make a steady income in just two years. But I heard that he was a very successful in his investments. Who told you that? Your old classmates was at a cafe and I overheard them talking about it. Your fiancé is a very successful investor and rich. Um, hold on. So the fiancé that they were talking about is... Oh, I think that might be my husband, Elliot. When I went back to the USA six months ago, we had a reunion. I told my friends about Elliot, who was still my fiancé at the time. I guess that's how you heard about it. You didn't check the fact and assume it was about Kurt. No way! That's why Kurt has no money! No way! I will be in big trouble! What? Why? We haven't paid for the wedding yet! I was expecting that Kurt would pay for it! But I haven't prepared any money! We were allowed to pay later, so... Oh, I'm sure there are wedding venues like that. Hey, what should I do? I can't contact Kurt at all. I can't do the wedding. They said I have to pay the $100,000 cancellation fee because I lied about the pregnancy. Yeah, well, that's what's going to happen. I don't have that kind of money. $100,000. Hmm. Hey, sis, what should I do? You will help your poor sister, right? Um, you are on your own. Why? Because I have nothing to do with it. Your cute little sister is in big trouble. I told you, I don't have a cute little sister. I mean, I moved out of my parents' house a long time ago. And I'm not related to you guys. Even though we're cut off, we're still blood related. You wouldn't abandon your own sister, would you? No. The real problem is that I'm leaving abroad. What do you want me to do? Please come back. Pay for the wedding. No way. What? That's your punishment for trying to marry someone by lying about your pregnancy. You are on your own. Bye. Wait, sis! I don't want to borrow money! I don't want to work! My dream luxury life! According to my cousin who was at the wedding, Kurt really didn't want to marry my sister. Even though he said he didn't have the money for the wedding, my sister forced him to do it and he was prepared to go into debt. As soon as he found out that the pregnancy was a lie, he immediately said he didn't want to marry Kim and he left the ceremony with no conscience. Also, it was a classmate of my sister's who was at the wedding who told the truth about Kim's pregnancy. She was also a friend of mine and we had kept in touch before the wedding. When we talked, she noticed something strange. And when she looked into it, she found out that she was lying about her pregnancy. She is also tired of Kim's personality and she secretly reveals Kim's lie to Kurt. I guess I indirectly ruined my sister's wedding. <laughs> well, it was clear that my sister was to blame. Not to mention the cancellation fee for the ceremony, she was also asked for alimony. My parents, who love my sister so much, disowned her in the end. Now, she spends her days in a shabby apartment working two jobs at once and complained to her few friends about her dream of becoming a rich man's wife. Later on, all of my sister's friends just left her. Poor thing, isn't it? Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.